everybody. Um, all of you that are here on time. Um, today we are going to be doing um, a meeting with parents, uh, mums or dads, whoever sits with you um, when you're learning. So we're going to do a short meeting um, up until 7.30 um, and that's really for us to get um, an idea about um, your experience with the course um, and for you to give us your feedback um, on how you found um, the last 11 weeks. So um, I'm going to start off with, uh, if I can get first of all all of you to lower your hands um, and then I'll select somebody. Um, okay, so you can now, um, if you're interested in providing us with any comments, um, any feedback on any of the points that are mentioned um, over here in front of you, um, please raise your hand and then I'll select one of you. So we have um, N6159. Assalamu alaikum. Um, hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm okay. How? Hello, alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. So I wanted um to start off. Um, well, I'll just go through each of the points and then you can let me know your thoughts or if your mum wants to wait on any of these, then you can let me know as well. So the first point um, we have is about the course duration. So that means um, this course that we have, um, this was for 12 weeks and we are in the 11th week at the moment. So how did you feel about how long the course was? Do you think that was okay? Do you think you needed more time, less time? It was okay. It was okay. All right, that's fine. Um, and with the lessons, do you think they moved quickly? Um, were they too slow for you? What did you think about that? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Alhamdulillah, the course is very good, and she improves her recitation. Alhamdulillah. And I think it should be for two hours. Okay. It should, it should be for two hours so they can practice more and more and more people get more time to, you know, participate. Sure. Okay. Um, and I mean, that's very, very good. And it should be, you know, continue for the rest of uh, the, you know, Nasara. And I think that's right. Sure, sure, exactly. um, in terms of the content that we taught, um, do you think that was easily understandable? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is very easy to understand. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Very easy to understand. Um, she, she, mashallah, knows very well. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Um, in terms of the attendance, did you ever have to report um, an absence? Um, and no, 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 no. She attended her 100%. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Um, and regarding the resources available on the website, do you, did you manage to download them okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Convenient. Yeah. It is um, easy to download and print it. Print, uh, it is easy to print it. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Uh, and did you find the recordings useful? Um, were they okay to access for you? Yeah, yeah. It is very easy to access. Um, and in terms of the communication from the teachers, um, the way that they're explaining, um, the way that the lessons were being taught, was that? Um, how did you find that? Was that okay for you? I think it's a brilliant experience, and they taught everything very well. And uh, all teachers are brilliant. Amazing, amazing um, teachers. Exactly. Um, you know, kids, love, kids love the teachers every time. And they, they now recognize the teacher by their voices. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of the improvements, is there anything that you would like I think it should, it should be for two hours. Okay. So more and more people get time to practice. And um, otherwise, it is brilliant. Okay, that's fine. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, uh, N6159 um, and her mum. 
Okay, um, that's great. Jazakallah for your feedback. Um, again, um, it's lovely to hear all the positive comments, but if you have any, um, even any criticisms, um, you can um, definitely feel free to um, let us know about that because it will definitely um, help us improve future courses. Um, so definitely if you think there are any places where um, there are any shortfalls um, anywhere where we could make improvements, please also do um, mention that as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to select, um, so we have A5131. Assalamualaikum, A5131. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? Good, alhamdulillah. Okay, brilliant. So again, um, similar sort of questions um, on your experience of this course. And again, if your mum or dad, whoever's with you, if they want to um, also comment, then they're more than welcome to. So um, in terms of the course, um, did you find that the, the time was okay? Did you find that 12 weeks was too long, too short? Um, what did you think about that? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm a 5131s mom. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum Islam, yep. Yes, I'm um, A5131's mom. Uh -huh. Yep, sure, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, course duration is uh, good, I can say. 12 weeks is, uh, is actually like what uh, we can expect kids for, for that age range, like from, uh, I think it was 7 to 12, yeah? yeah? So 12 weeks duration is good for them. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'm very happy with uh, the course content was uh, very well explained and uh, my son was very keen. He attended all the classes and each time he would pray that, uh, oh Allah, pick, make them pick me, uh, pick me to read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're all keen, I think, to learn and uh, like improve their uh, read, the reading of the Holy Quran. Mm -hmm. And um, even me and my son, uh, even me and my husband also, we attended all the classes together. So at the same time, I think we also gain a lot, I can say, from uh, uh, this uh, course. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, resources are very good on the website. Yeah. And even uh, it's been uploaded uh, on YouTube. So that's also very good. I've been sharing the uh, links with uh, relatives and friends and everything. So they can also benefit from it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, and then, in terms uh, of um, the way that the lessons were taught, do you think there could be any changes in the format? Any suggestions, maybe to make it more interactive? Anything like that? Uh, probably if we can, uh, like, uh, might be hard though because it's not easy to get everybody like try to read uh, the maximum. Yeah, because sure. uh, yeah, it's because I understand like one hour, it's not enough to pick everybody and make yeah. them try to read the maximum. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, like I said, uh, it's good unless we have like uh, uh, two courses running parallel, probably two teachers, and then getting them to like uh, if you are assigned, for example, you are one teacher, so you are assigned about thirty students for yourself and if we can have like another teacher with you yeah, who sure. so can be assigned about, about yeah. like let's say 20 30 students so yeah. this might be helpful probably mm -hmm. but again i understand it's not something easy to do it's easy to say that we can improve on this we can improve on that but practically yeah. when you try to implement it might be hard yeah yeah sure that's i do understand that yeah no, that's great. Jazakumullah. That was really um, useful feedback. Um, and definitely I take your point, um, the final point you made. Um, obviously, this is the third course that we're running. So, yes. Um, still, I mean, we, we have gained a lot of experience since the first course. But yes, yes. So definitely, uh, with the grace, by the grace of Allah, we can still improve on, on that. And uh, I think, yeah, I want to say a big well done. Uh, mashallah to the team. Yeah, you've been doing something great. Like, yeah, you know, I'm really, really impressed with everything. And thank you to everybody. Yeah, Jazakallah to everybody. Yeah. Thank you very much. And your mom as well. Jazakallah. Okay, let's take another, uh, someone else from Masarat. So let's have um, 
N6166. Assalamualaikum, N6166. Waalaikumsalam. Um, yes, please feel free. You can even follow this format. Or if you want to make your own comment, please feel free. Okay, uh, first of all, Jazakallah so much. Um, I definitely feel my daughter has benefited from the course because um, there's a lot of rules that she was getting much faster than I was understanding them and she was helping me um, um, to um, know them as well. So, um, Jazakallah. Um, the only other thing I would put, my biggest suggestion would be um, is that sometimes the girls, like uh, past parents, we have to, you know, always say to children because they lose interest um, or or they could get distracted or start fidgeting or something. So when it is the turn of somebody else, sometimes you will have a few days where the child doesn't get a turn. So they're just waiting out for their turn and they're starting to get a bit frustrated. So if all the children could keep getting addressed to say, can all of you read this? Because rather than just that one child, be uh, that child who has his turn, all the focus is on that child, but the other children are not really being told to. Like so, sometimes you say it here and there that everybody yeah. should read, but if you address all the children and say, "Can all of you read this right now as well?" Be in your houses, then maybe the children will listen to you more than they listen to us because we have to keep saying it to our children. Yeah, sure. No, that's fair enough. That's a good point. No, that's great. Um, in terms of the content, the pace, how did you feel about? that yeah I thought that was really good yeah okay perfect um, and uh, the resources on the website were they easily accessible did you have any issues the thing um, is, I would prefer if there was um, and like if you send an email out to us with the links so it's easy for us to just click on the links and get to I know it's a bit lazy but sometimes yeah. it's um, um, you know that's an easier way for to do it because um, yeah. for us to kind of hunt it down if it was see, yeah. an email and we just click on it we just get to like wherever the recordings are get to wherever if you want to reply to us click on this link I think I would find that a lot easier okay yeah no that's fair enough that's fine um any thoughts about what we could perhaps incorporate in future courses content um any any point really um no, I think it's fine. Um, I'm not really sure. No, that's fine. That's fine. Just like the, other, the other one other thing is that there was a lot of time I, in a way it gets wasted when you have to keep telling people to turn their videos off. And so I don't know if, if they have a system where they just don't have videos on at all. So that yeah. you have to keep saying that to people. And also sometimes with the um, you know, with the names. If you, when I started the course in the first day, I didn't actually know you were supposed to put in the code for the, that was given. That was a bit confused as well. So maybe if that could be made a bit more clearer, that you have to put that code in. And maybe if I mean I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fine. It, it just takes up a lot of the time when it took, most of the time it just feels like you're saying correct your codes, um, mm -hmm. turn off your videos, and I feel like sometimes it feels like half of the lesson is gone with you saying that. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think especially in the at the start of the course, because it's quite a new program to a lot of people, yeah. um, it does take some time to get used to. But no, I that's fine. If there was something that could be done with that, that would be helpful as well. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Jazakallah. Thank, Thank you very much. so much for giving time to our children. No problem, Jazakallah. Thank you. Um, okay, let's have um, A5160. Assalamualaikum, A5160. Walaikum Asalaam. Um, again, please to go ahead and make your comments. Sure. Um, so I have one comment regards to kind of the, the duration, well, not quite the duration, but the timing actually and how it's planned, uh, how it's uh, panned out over the week. So, for example, with, uh, with us on a Friday, we have a Friday class for the children um, every Friday. And my, sons have, uh, my son has had, uh, he's had to miss the Friday class for, for so many weeks. Um, so I think if that could be taken into consideration a little bit, um, perhaps, you know, Friday, either either the, the course goes on for four days and Friday is missed. That's just a suggestion. So, so, the, so the, the, the boy, boys can or and the girls, um, I guess, wherever there's Friday classes, they can still attend. Mm -hmm. um, also, there were other Jamaat events that... Um, that, that sometimes coincide with, so for example, if there's um, ishtama or something, or, or their activities, so, so they might fall on a Friday, and then sure, just have yeah. to 
you on the Sunday. So um, that was one point. Uh, the other thing was uh, the video for Friday. Uh, recording that sometimes is not, um, is not available sometimes until the Monday. Yeah. Um, whereas weekend is such a good opportunity to just uh, revise and yeah, um, look at the content. So um, nothing big, nothing major. Um, it's okay. We always catch up afterwards. But uh, but that, that was one point. Otherwise, I, I have to say that I'm very grateful for the dedication, for the time and the commitment that's been put towards helping out so many children and, um, and, and the, way, the way the course has been delivered. I've personally learned a lot um, and I'd only say that please uh, don't have the videos removed, just have them there because whilst in those 12 weeks we've been through the lessons we've um, kind of gone through, not everything sunk in um, because it's, it wasn't a one-to-one -one as such. Um, so I think we, we definitely need that, to, the videos and the resources available to, to keep going back to it. Yep, that's fine. No, that's a perfectly valid point. And inshallah, uh, uh, especially I think regarding the Friday, I think it, it is a very busy day for, the, for most of us with Juma, And then a lot of, uh, a lot of people do have Juma events in the evening. So I can definitely understand um, that there is sometimes going to be a clash. So no, that's, that's completely valid. So Jazakallah. Um, any other points or, or I can move on to the next person? Uh, please go ahead and move on to okay. the next person. I just want to say um, really grateful and um, Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Thank you very much um, again. Um, so let's move on. Um, we will take, we've got about 10 minutes left uh, before we move on to the actual lesson. So um, if I take N6131. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Fine, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, so, would you like to um, make any general comments or any comments related to any of the points mentioned over here? Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you for the efforts, for your time, for everything you have done for our children. I love this, you all, and your team also. Uh, secondly, the course duration was right, I think, the one hour, because children spend at least six hours at school, and after eating something, I think one hour is enough. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. And secondly, the content, uh, I think uh, what you have done is quite right, because uh, the children has already uh, read a Nazara Quran, but uh, you have gone through uh, with the very tiny things. For example, I learned by myself. Uh, where we have to uh, uh, say the word for four seconds, we have to say the word for two seconds. So such things, I mean, Tartil, they have improved a, a lot in Tartil also. That's brilliant. That's excellent, mashallah. And uh, uh, resources available on the website, it's very good. Uh, if uh, for, by chance, if our doctor missed that class, uh, everything was available on the net and she uh, go, uh, went through all the uh, class which, which she missed at that time. That's great, excellent. And regarding communication, uh, I think uh, it is quite difficult to give a uh, turn to everyone. Uh, that's why I think you have selected other person so that nobody can then say that uh, she's only selecting someone of, of her friend, etc. Et I think it's was quite right. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant, that's great. And regarding pace, what do you mean the pace? Uh, yeah, so do you think that the lessons move too quickly? Would you have preferred uh, more time on more maybe advanced lessons? Um, because this in this course we have introduced, um, particularly in lesson number four, that is a new lesson, uh, which we haven't taught in previous courses. So um, it, it's something that we're testing out essentially in this course. Uh, so if you have any comments about um, whether the pace was too quick, if you wanted more time on a particular lesson, anything that they struggled with, anything like that? I have just asked my daughter and she said, because she's the one who was learning. So she said it was all right. Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. Brilliant. Um, and uh, with the communication, how did she find the teachers? Um, did, did she encounter any difficulties um, or was the way that they were delivering the lesson, was that all understandable for her? I have just asked my doctor and she said it was very good, but perfect. She said perfect. <laughs> but sometimes she says that there was a, your voice was low sometimes in some classes. 
Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, I have been told that, especially from IT, but um, yeah, no, that's fine, Jazakallah. Um, in terms of any future improvements, is there anything that you would like to see in future courses? Uh, to experience better? Uh, uh, what you have done, I think, is quite sufficient. Mm -hmm. And uh, now what they have learned, should, they should apply in daily talawat. They should apply all those things. Definitely, yeah. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, if you have no other points, then I can move on again. No, I, I really want to appreciate everything you and your team. Allah bless you all and Allah fulfill all your good dreams. Whatever you have done for our children, uh, nobody ever can do it. Uh, what you have done, please. Allah bless you all. Jazakallah. Thank you very much. Um, Zakmal everyone that has given the feedback so far. It has been really helpful. Um, if I just go back to the point regarding the pace, um, definitely if you could, um, if there is any points that you want to mention, especially about the second half of the course. Um, I know lesson number four was a bit of a tough one um, because there are some tricky rules in there. So if, again, if you have um, feedback re regarding that lesson in particular, then that would be helpful for us um, to understand how to move forward with that. Um, let's take A5151 and A5154. That sounds good. A5151 and A5154. Um, would you like to make any comments, any feedback um, regarding your experience on the course, any of the points that are mentioned on the screen? Yes, uh, the course duration was uh, brilliant. Uh -huh. The pace was very good as well. The content was nice and uh, appropriate. The attendance and monitoring, that was good as well. Mm -hmm. uh, resources available on website, good and recordings, good. Okay. Communication. Yeah, there was a problem um, in some classes when uh, the teacher's voice was too much low. Mm -hmm. And we were not able to mention this even. Okay. There, should be, there should be some channel something that if the person who is attending the class on the other side at his home he if he is feeling any problem he or she can contact the teacher or the moderator of the class there must be something because this is what i this is what i uh, this is what i felt in last class as well when my child was attending g1 course mm -hmm. raising the hand is not a solution because you ignore the raised hand normally and uh, the whole of the class is uh, sometimes uh, ruined only because of that particular problem mm -hmm. one thing is that this should be some there must be any any other channel that uh, the student can communicate with the teacher or the parent can communicate with the teacher during the class if it is required one thing sure that's fine Second, that's fair enough um yeah. Are you aware of the um, contact email address for the team as well to report any issues? Uh, I am talking about the any. I am talking about the issue, which is, uh, which is there is if there is a problem right uh, during the lesson. Mm -hmm. So if I will send an email, that email will relayed maybe in five minutes. I see. Maybe yeah, you will so... you will read that email in um, next ten minutes. Uh -huh. So the fifteen or twenty minutes, those twenty minutes will be you know. The, the, the lost right yeah yeah so there so you... should be something there should be something within the zoom maybe that this software maybe or mm -hmm. maybe there should be some an sms sms number there should be that okay. should be communicated that if you feel any problem during the lesson you can communicate on this number straight away write a text and send okay. so that it can be managed during the lesson right sure yeah that's fair the second thing is the second thing is uh whenever this is not a problem in fact uh, this is the this is the communication i think so that was that was fine uh, rather than uh, accept this okay. improvements for future uh, courses is this that uh, one thing is that there is no set criteria for assessment uh -huh. a child doesn't know that how he or she will be assessed uh, there is an internal assessment as well Last time it was happened as well. Mm -hmm. But what happens? This assessment is not done for all of the students of the class. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So there should be some sort of assessment 
which you should announce beforehand okay we are we will we will assess maybe you can say okay we will assess on the daily basis whenever a child will be coming for any recitation or something we will be assessing uh, that child on that on that day as well and we will we will um, we will be marking right marking his progress as well uh -huh. so that a child should uh, should keep himself aware of this and he should should be ready for the each lesson for the each day right so uh -huh. yeah. so so that he 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 knows it he should know it that okay he can be assessed today as well so he 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 he, he should be ready every day right sure. so do you think, um just one suggestion regarding that do you think if perhaps rather than having a specific day because obviously as we acknowledge that we have near well more than 50 students if it was uh rather than a day maybe a week in which we could um no, no, no. At any it should point be, that the new could be it should be on it should be on daily basis daily. whenever you whenever you call a student to read something uh -huh. in fact that is an assessment as well for that student right okay that should be assessed on that time and the teacher should or should mark should give some marks to that student say 3 out of 5 or 2 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 like this right, right. and that those should be aggregated uh, aggregated for, for the 30 classes or maybe for the 50 classes but how many uh, we have three three months class or whatever the uh, duration is sure okay. so, so that the, so that, so that the student is student is aware of this and he or she is ready for the whole day for the whole class mm -hmm. so he is attentive as well right this this is another way mm -hmm. okay that's fine Just there are some improvements those improvements are some technological improvements uh -huh. The Zoom software sometimes, many times in fact, it was uh, not ready for the G2 class. Sometimes it was 15 to 20 minutes late. Yes, so this yeah. class was started 20 minutes late. So 20 minutes are wasted. So this there should be something that we should look into it that this should not be happened next time maybe, right? The one more thing is we should have some criteria of students selection. The selection is you know, when we will we, we will base the assessment on the selection, then the selection must be improved as well. So that each student could be selected. No one should be missed, right? Uh, this is my uh, this is my feeling whenever I saw that whenever we were logged in using the two IDs, because my both of my sons are in G2. So we were not selected for that day. Whenever we were logged in using only one ID, we were selected very often. I don't know what I, what is the policy behind this, but there should be some set criteria so that each student can have a chance uh, maybe in three or four days. Because if we divide 40 students on four days, 10 students per day maybe, it's a good number. So these are the only things. And at the end of this, uh, this is a brilliant idea you have started and I think so and I request that it should it should go on and on mm -hmm. and it should go on and on for the adults as well. Okay, Our so adults who are living in this country, uh, I'm not talking about those adults um, uh, who know the Quran but the, those who don't know it, and they are reluctant as well and they don't ask anyone to let them learn this. So maybe there should be a class for those adults as well. This is sure. a suggestion. That's fine. Thank Jazakumullah. You. Thank you. Um, so those were some, again, some very useful points, which inshallah um, we will definitely take into consideration for uh, future courses. Um, because the time has run out for this session, um, what I would definitely suggest is um, if you'd like to comment on any of these points or any other points, um, if you can send in um, via email um, to this email address, um, and inshallah, we will go through the responses um, and see how we can uh, implement them in future courses. Um, but otherwise, Jazakallah, um, from me, um, it was definitely very helpful to understand your experiences. This is the first time that we've taken feedback um, in a live class. Um, so inshallah, we will um, review that feedback um, and look to see how we can improve future courses. So uh, Jazakallah uh, from me, and I will now hand to the uh, um, teacher for today um, who will inshallah um, take the rest of your lesson 
So just bear with me one moment while I find her. Okay, so um, day teacher for today, you are now the host. So if you can go ahead and share your screen. Salam alaikum. Okay, yeah. Um, sorry, one second. Okay, so can you see the screen? Uh, Assalamu alaikum, ST331. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can you see the screen? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, that's perfect. Zakamullah. So I can make you the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, and welcome to the class. Um, thank you for your feedback. Um, now, I'll choose a student to read Prayer for Learning. So, I'm um, sorry, uh, can you please choose it, discipline uh, teacher? Um, yeah, sure. The first student is A5155. Five, five, five. Assalamu alaikum, A5155. Five, five. Assalamu alaikum, can you hear me? Okay, I don't think A5155 can hear us, so we can choose someone else now, please. A5122. Assalamualaikum, A5122. Excuse me, just a minute, I call him, he's just downstairs. Can you wait for two minutes? Yeah, sure, but he should be here. Yeah, just he's coming. Uh, meanwhile, I can talk about one thing is that um, the one feedback that um, was about um, how we should um, yes, uh, pay. Oh. Sorry? Sorry. Yep, so. Welcome, uh, Sam. Sorry, one second. So I was telling how um, there was one feed feedback saying that we should address everyone. I think that was perfect. Yep. So from now on, I will do that. Uh, addressing everyone instead of just that one person. So that was perfect. So, Assalamu alaikum, A5122. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Islam. A5122, you should be uh, in the attending the class instead of being downstairs. I'm okay. Okay, from next time. Thank you. So, would you please like to read the prayer for learning? And for other students, you can repeat after A5122. So, please start with thousand uh, Tasmiya. <coughs> Bish Azubilahim in a Shaito Nirajim, Bishmilah Rahman Rahim Rabbi Rabbish Rahli Sadri by Yasser Li Amri. Why, yes, yes, sir, Lee, um, Okay, good. Um, overall, it was fine, but one thing is that that's not lamb, that's raw. So, what did you say here? Uh, start from Swadu. So, start from here again. Rod, 
Shad ri. Excellent. So that's raw. So sodri. And um, every pause that you took, um, there was a ha sound. So I know that was not deliberate, but um, just make sure that there's no ha sound there. So rabbi sodri. Okay, clear and re sound. Clear re sound. The next one is the li. You did prolong it, but for not, not for lo um, long enough. So it's at least three seconds to five seconds. Okay. So start from wa again. Wa yasir li amri. Well done. So now the translation as well, please. <clears throat> Lord, accept my mind and may, make Stand. my Lord expand. Uh, sorry, Lord, expand my mind and make my task easy for me. Excellent. Sorry, just one second. Okay, just one thing. Can you see that recording sign? Um, yeah. On the left hand side, top. Yeah. Okay, good. Yep, just checking if it's recording or not. Um, okay, excellent. So, Jazakumullah, that was A5122, Jazakumullah. We're going to read another prayer today. Um, okay, so Jazakumullah, A5122. Okay, awesome. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I accidentally unmuted. Yep. Assalamualaikum. So, uh, so, what's your ID, please? N6157. N6157, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, so now we're going to read, we are going to read the last prayer. So, would you please like to start with Bismillah and read it? Bismillah rahman rahim Rabbana taqabbal minna Innaka anta sami'ul alim That was excellent, mashallah. Um, the voice was good as well, but the the rules were excellent as well. Uh, I, like, I like the fact that you did do a gunna sound in the noon, birth of the noon, because mostly uh, students miss out that. So everyone, make sure that you do a uh, gunna sound because that's noon with mushadid, right? That crown-shaped sign here. So whenever you have noon with mushadid or noon with mushadid, you have to do a nasal sound. So well done, A for, uh, sorry, N6157, Sakumula. Now the translation as well, please. Our Lord, except from us, you are all, you for you for. are all hearing, all knowing. Excellent. And that's from Al Bakara, uh, verse 128. So, Jazakumullah, now we can uh, start the class. Um, so, can we have a, a tifil now, please? Jazakumullah. A5145. Oh, Mama! A5145. Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. So today we're starting a new lesson, which is hard words in Tilawat. Okay. So because there, there are some hard words that we need practice on, uh, and then we can get it right. Um, so it will be beneficial if the following hard words are practiced times again. The learner should first recite each word without observing a, pa a pause and then making a pause, applying all the relevant rules. So you have to make sure that first, when you read it, you, there should be no pause. So just read it continuous. And then afterwards, there should be a pause. And you should apply all the rules that you've learned so far, okay? And pay special attention over highlighted ones. So for example, in this case, Hamza is highlighted, okay? So letter regarding correct application of the concerned rules. Okay, so now, I think the first one is, um, Relatively easy. So, uh, A5145, do you want to have a go at reading the first one? Okay. Nisa on. Yep, so first you have to do it without the pause. So start again. Start again. So should I do it with the pause? 
No, first do it without the pause and then with the pause. Okay. Misala. Uh huh. That's a lift. Nisa. Okay, no. Follow me. Okay, wait. That's known, right? The next one is seen. Yes. The next one is alif. And then it's hamza, right? So there's no separate a sound. It's just sa sound because it, when you have uh, alif attached to it, you, the sound merges. So it's not sa, it's sa. So start from the <coughs> word again. Nisa and excellent. Yep, that was correct this time. Well done. And how how would you do it without with the pause? Nisa. Well done. Excellent. One thing is for this one. Uh, the whenever you have Hamza with Fathatain, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and you're pausing. So. Uh, think of it as um, when you're pausing, so with that, one of the fatha, there are two fatha, right? So one of them um, go, is gone, so one of uh, them is um, disappeared. The other one is there, but the, uh, alif gets after the hamza as well. So when you're pausing, add, kind of add the alif uh, in your mind. So when you're singing, you're going to say nisa. So you're, you're, you're prolonging the hamza as well. Nisa. Uh, uh, long in the. So, Hamza with Fatatain, when you pause it, you're going to prolong it. That's as simple as that. So, Nisa. Nisa. And our sound as well, I couldn't hear that. Nisa. Good, yep, excellent. So um, with other ones, so when it, if you have um, Dhammatain or Kassatain, then you, this, the, the, the rule doesn't apply, okay? It's just for Hamza with Fathatain on top, okay? So well done, Let, uh, move on to the next one, please. Excuse me, is that a lamb? Yep, lamb, yep. Okay. Lu al. al. Now, these both of them are lamb. Lu al. Hmm? Okay, so in this case, look at the highlighted ones. So it's highlighted because uh, there should be a special rule applied here. Not special, but you know, you should keep them in mind. That's why they're hard words. So whenever you have Hamza and it has, what is, what is on top of it? Sakun. Excellent. So whenever, whenever you have Sakun on top of Hamza, uh, as you can see here, it's not you're not going to prolong it you're not going to say lu 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 uh you're going to, you're going to say lu lu uh so you're going to give a bit of a, right okay say lu 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 uh lu uh excellent well done so one thing is that the most uh common mistake that people do is that this comes up so whenever they whenever they sing lu lu a, they actually give the iron sound. They say lu lu a, which is not correct. Okay, so just keep it simple. Lu lu a, lu lu a. Okay, that's so we've said it with pause. So now I'll say it without the pause. Lu lu a. Now that's with the pause. So that's you you're doing a work. Do it without the work. Lu. U an. Excellent. Lu, lu an. Yep. So it seems like you have problem with rec recognizing lam and alif, right? Yes. Yep. So just um, just make sure that you don't. 
because Islam, like how it's connected to the next one, right? Right. So if it was to be Alif, right, it would be unconnected. Right. For um, if it's at the start, it's unconnected. But as you can see on this one, the first word is connected to this to something, right? So after the scene, then it's Alif. So that's how you can recognize Alif and Lam. Okay. okay, so move on. Okay, I think we don't have enough time, so we can go to an, another student. So, Zakala A5145. Zakala. So, now we're going to move on to an Asira, please. N6142. N6142. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you have, did, you have, did you find any difficulty in the first two words that we just did? Um, kind of. Okay, so what do you not understand? Well, I, um, I don't get it. Like, um, you know, um, with the Hamza, it has the uh, Fatatin. Yeah. Yeah, so I know to end with Nisa. So what do I... I don't get it, but I'm not sure what it's called, but in the setting... Oh, this one. Yeah, with, on top of the vowel. On the second example. So you're talking about look one, but this look. Yeah, like how do you finish it? Oh, you said you're talking about the second Hamza on the second word. Yeah, like how do you finish it when there's an I? Uh, okay, so you don't understand how to do a work, right? Yeah. Okay, so the only thing is that. Uh, one of the imagine as if one of the fatha the the two lines right one of the fatha is gone, so you're not going to say lu luan you're going to, you're going to say lu lua, but there's always a rule that uh, whenever you have hamza with fatha tain, you have to prolong it. So in this case we have alif next to it, so we have to prolong it. But even if you don't have alif, so sorry one second, yeah, even if you don't have alif here, you still have to prolong it. When we have a uh, Hamza with Fatatayan. So in this case, the first word that you can see here, you don't have Alif next uh, after Hamza. So you, but still, you have to prolong it. So Nisa, uh, right? Shall I read it? Yep, sure. Nisa, uh. Not a, uh, prolong it. Uh, Nisa. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sa, yep. Because we have uh, Madde Kabir here, you have to prolong it. But the rule that I'm telling you is about after the, this Hamza that you can see, it has Fatha Tain. So you have to, when you're, when you're pausing here, you have to pr uh, prolong it. So instead of one second, you have to do two seconds. Nisa. Uh, Nisa. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. So you have to prolong this uh, Hamza. Do you get it? Yeah. Thank you. Zakumullah. So now you turn. It's your turn to do it. So that's second one. A uh, third word. Sorry. Ibadihil ul ulama. Okay, good. Yep. Uh, but one thing is that one thing that you did wrong was that you prolonged the slam the, after the ayin here. You prolonged this, but you're not meant to do it. So not ulam, ulama, it's ulama. And the ayin sound, sorry, as well. So it's not ibadihi, it's ibadihil ulama. So the ayin sound is not clear enough. Okay. Yeah. So ulama ulama. So that's ma. So prolong it for two seconds, but not the lam. Ma. Good. Well done. Now move on to the next one, please. Al 
Lazi. Okay, here. Yeah. So, in this case, the known is highlighted um, in grey, right? So, if, for example, you will consider these two, so from Iba, so consider from Iba to Niladi, consider it as if it was uh, two separate verses, okay? And you're not doing work at Ulama'u, okay? You're not doing any work. So, if you're not... Hello. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Internet tikka. Um, that's one of the students. I think there is a technical issue with the main teacher. So just keep calm. I think she will be here soon. A5147, can you please stop your video and same with N6149? Yes, Okay, assalamualaikum. Okay, something happened to my Wi-Fi, so it's it's fine now. But I'm not the host anymore. Uh, what's happening? Oh, I'm host. Okay, fine. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. So we uh, is N six one four two still there? Okay. Okay, I, I've made you the co host uh, STG31. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, wa alaikum salam. Yep, so can I have N6142? Sorry for the uh, disturbance. Yes, she's Wa alaikum salam. Okay, we can continue from now. Um, so, did you get my point or should I explain it again? Um, I, um, I got your point. Yeah, so just for the sake of reading it, start with Nilladi. So read it. Nilazina Z. Yeah, good. Excellent. So whenever this known comes in a continuous reading, so when you're continuing reading it, then you have to pronounce the known instead of Alif. However, when you're stopping at the place, just before this known comes, you have to start with Alif, not known, right? Another thing was that the th the sound, that's the dal, not zal. There's a difference between two letters. Okay? So it's not nillazi, it's nillazi. So try again. Nillazi. Yeah. So the way it works, I've told before, is that uh, take your tongue out. So do uh, everybody do it uh, as I'm saying. So take your tongue out. And then uh, put it on your upper teeth. So put it forward, um, sorry, upwards to your uh, two upper teeth. And then um, press it and then say the the sound. So nilla the. So try again. Nilla the. Nilla the. Excellent, well done. So the listener would now recognize oh, yes, that's zal, not zal, right? Jazakamullah. Mm -hmm. hmm. So we're coming, well, it's eight o'clock already. Um, okay. So, Jazakumullah, everybody. So, now we're going to finish with a prayer after Tilawat. 
uh, if we had time, uh, next lesson obviously uh, with me tomorrow as well. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do this word, which is probably the hardest, because there's lots of meme here. So everybody gets confused with the with all the memes. So you think as if you've not said meme enough. So there are the one, two, three, four memes um, together consecutively. So you feel as if oh you have said three but not four. So we will consider that tomorrow, inshallah. Uh, Jazakumullah. So now, can we have a tifu to read the prayer after the love with first, please? Um, yes. Um, A5177. A5177. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. So, would you please like to read the prayer after the love with first? Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma rahamni bil Quran al Azim. Vaja al Huli imam on vanu rong vahudong varahma. Excellent. And the translation is Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. And make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Excellent. Well done. Uh, the only thing is that humma, that meme here, Allah So that meme with mushadath, you have to do a nasal sound. Okay, don't okay. forget that. And uh, everything else was perfect. Well done. So just one Jack thing that um, we do this prayer, so before, the prayer before starting, and prayer after the lavat, so after we have finished the class. The reason for them is uh, are that the you should learn them. Okay. So okay. this is not the the here. Uh, this is not the the whole of the prayer. Uh, these are the portions of the prayer. So we should at least try to learn them. And if uh, if you see at the end of the Quran, there will be this prayer in the full version. So okay. if you want to read that as well, you can do that. So, okay. okay, now we're going to end with this last prayer. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta sameer al-alim. Oh Allah, accept this effort and service from us. For you are the most hearing, the most knowing. Indeed, Ameen. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.